please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all my latest updates. Hi everyone, this is Chini from the CyberCare YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a web server on Amazon AWS Cloud. So if you don't have an account, you have to create one. Please check out the video in the description so that you can have an account. And once you create an account, come to the home page and under compute select EC2. So once it loads, you need to click on launch instance and there let me select free tier and then I'm going to choose Amazon Linux AMI and then I'll click on select. So as I'm having free tier only, so I will select free tier eligible and then click on review and launch. We may have to add a new security policy or security group here. So click on edit security groups and then as we are using a web server so we need to select http here so that this port will be allowed to access from the people all over the world so change these two to anywhere and then click on review and launch and finally click on launch you need to have a key pair to connect to this particular linux machine so click on create new key pair and give a name let's say like key some name and click on download key pair and finally click on launch instances so this is going to take a couple of moments actually so scroll down and click on view instances meanwhile so now it will be pending right now so let it launch meanwhile we'll convert that pm file key file into something else so install a tool called putty actually so go to internet and search for putty.org or just search for putty and then install this particular putty tool in your pc and once you install open your windows button and then search for putty gen okay so you can see putty gen like this open it and then select rsa click on load and there uh, under this loading window select all files and then select the key.pm file this kind of thing will come click on ok and then click on save private key so i'm gonna give a name and then i click on save so once it is done you can see that right now the instance is running you can wait up to the initialization state comes to everything is good whereas if you want to connect it right now you just select it okay so that under description you can see that public dns address copy that public dns address it's a two line address actually till amazon.com so copy that address and then open your putty let me close the existing one okay so here come to the session and then paste your uh, that public dns address here and then expand the ssh okay so click on the plus button and then select auth here don't click on the plus button just select auth and then here click on browse and select the key.ppk and then you click on open so your amazon linux will be up and ready for you so username will be ec to hyphen user for the user actually by default user you hit enter so that you will be getting uh, login screen or sorry terminal of the particular linux first of all first update your um, linux actually so you type sudo yum update and then minus y so that it will not ask you again now your pc is getting all the latest updates whatever available on the internet and uh, these commands I'll keep in the description also so that you don't feel worry about the visibility of the commands. So if you can see it, it's okay. If you can't, don't worry. The commands are there in the description. So if you like this video, you may also like my other videos. Please check that out here, youtube.com slash the cybercare. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you don't like it, dislike and then tell me any suggestions or any kind of other new videos you want to see up. Just tell me there. Let it complete. So once it is done, it's a base Linux actually. We need to install uh, HTTP software and then PHP and then MySQL database and all. So we type sudo yum install and then HTTPD, HTTPD 24, HTTPD 2.4, Apache 2.4 is a version and then PHP 5.6. So PHP 5.6 is a uh, program and then I want PHP MySQL also so I'll type PHP 56 minus 
my sql and d and then minus y okay sudo yum install http 24 php 56 php 56 minus my sql and d space minus y and then you hit enter so all these programs whichever you ask for will be downloaded and will be installed and now to run your web server you need to type sudo service space httpd httpd space start so your web server will be up and running now to access your web server you can just have your public dns copy that and then people can access your server like this so they can see this basic test page if you want to add your own content there is there are few more steps for example by default you can't access your web server location you can access you can't modify so let's add permissions of your own so sudo these commands are very important if you want to do some modifications sudo um, ch own where i'm getting the ownership of the particular directory minus r recursive means we're gonna get every file instead of that we're gonna get permissions for that and then current username root and my user group is ec2 minus user i'm gonna get that particular permission to my user group so what is a directory so di by default web server directory slash var slash www so this is the first command which will get permissions get ownership of your uh, particular directory web server directory next one we need to add our own permissions there we'll type sudo space ch mod minus capital r again recursively i want to get permissions for everything and then we give 777 this is a by default permissions actually so i suggest review your permissions or give 755 if you want but for the status i suggest 777 and then slash var slash www without these two commands if you try updating your uh, web page it will tell you permission denied you can try it out if you want and once it is done uh, you can go to the location slash var slash www slash html and there you need to create a file called index.html okay so for that you can you know use any text editor let's say like vi or something like that so i'm going to use nano so nano index.html by default text file should by default html page should be index.html so nano space index.html and then start writing your content let's say like uh, chini did it and then uh, hi all from cyber care so like that i write something and you have to press ctrl x to save it and then you press y to accept let's say like yes for y and hit enter now if you just refresh your page so your content will be looking like this she needed it hi all from the cyber care so like that you can do modifications to your web server and you can upload your own php files you can do a lot of other stuff the more advanced windows you know uh, server configurations you know i may prepare videos on that also so please subscribe to the channel so that you will get all the latest updates have a nice day please go ahead and check what you can do with your server and have fun that's all for this video guys have a nice day bye bye